What you might be finding at this stage, once you're completing your turn, you might feel like you're actually sliding down the slope as opposed to cutting in and feeling yourself slowing down. It's all to do with your edges. Now, if you can see me standing here, I can roll my knees and ankles into the slope, and if I gently roll them out, I'm gonna to start to slide down. Give it a go, just on a nice sort of smooth area like this, roll the knees in, and then gently let the ski start to slide down. So once you've mastered that, and remember, just make it nice and smooth, try it both ways, you can start to put it into a traverse. So come across the slope and do exactly the same thing. Flatten the skis gently and then roll the edges on. But think about going around the corner on a bicycle. You don't just lean the bike over and quickly go around the corner and then come back up. You're gonna gently and progressively roll those skis flat and then gently back onto the edge and try and get used to feeling the difference. So I'm gonna start by traversing across, flatten the skis, then feel the edges. Flatten the skis, then feel the edges. So I'm traversing across, I can feel my edges, and then I'm gonna flatten, and then roll the skis on the edge again. Once you've got that dialed and you're feeling quite happy about those movements, we can now introduce it into a proper turn. It's exactly the same movement. You're gonna start the turn, come around the corner, and gently and progressively rolling those knees and ankles slightly into the hill. It's not a sharp movement and you'll be amazed. Just a couple more degrees are enough to really feel a lot more grip. It's gonna make you feel a lot more comfortable on steeper terrain. I'm still sliding into the turn and gently rolling onto the edges. It's a progressive movement as we roll onto the edges and then flatten the skis to start the next turn. We then gradually build up the edges again and turn uphill to control our speed.